It is an honor and a privilege to have you as a fan of celebrity news and lifestyle, where you have kinds of your genuine juicy news concerning your favorite celebrities. Take your precious time to sit down and let's share thoughts together with love and peace. Trouble in Paradise. Coco Gauff's early Wimbledon stumble raises red flags with Coach Spat. Coco Gauff rated as the highest earning female athlete in the world for 2023 raking in an estimated $22.7 million income, of which $16 million came from endorsements. The 20-year-old Delray Beach icon had added to her original New Balance deal with marketing sponsorships from Ray-Ban's Smart Glasses, Bose UPS, Barilla and Baker Tilly. Her agent, Tony Godsick, who lives in Delray Beach and handled Roger Federer's business affairs, has done well. Hence, expectations are high no matter what tournament Coco plays, especially after she won her first major, the US Open last September. While Gorf advanced to the semi-finals of 2024's first two majors at the Australian Open and French Open, Gorf's journey in Wimbledon had another bit of ending Sunday at the All England Club in the fourth round. It was ugly all around in the 6-4, 6-3 straight set route to 19th seed Emma Navarro, playing raggedly, muffing a few easy balls, and seen angrily pleading with her coach's box for assistance during a changeover. Gorf could be heard on the onkert microphone beseeching her famous coach, Brad Gilbert, tell me something. Coco screamed. You guys aren't saying anything. Gilbert looked bewildered. No coach likes being shown up. Afterward, Gorf tried to downplay the loss and her alarming streak at Wimbledon of never getting to the quarterfinals. Last Wimbledon, she lost in the first round with some experts feeling she needs to shorten her forehand backswing on the fast playing grass. This year, Coco came in as the second seed a career high. Afterward, Gorf went on a long rant, saying, fans of the game are a little disrespectful in not realizing how many stellar players are on the tour. I've played so many slams where anybody can win Gorf said. The seed is just a number, just an advantage, so you don't play another seed first round. That doesn't mean you can't lose. As we've seen a lot of seeds drop out. We've seen defending champions drop out. Even though the unseeded players may not be as known, they're so talented Gorf added. Open quote that's something that fans of the game are a little bit disrespectful when it comes to other players on tour. Maybe their ranking isn't there, but the level is there. They're here for a reason. They deserve their spot. There's no easy draw. There's no cakewalk. Gorf was being respectful in saluting her fellow tour colleagues. And she's right. The women's draw has never been deeper. But the flip side was Coco not taking ownership for losing to a player she should beat on a big stage. Gorf made 25 unforced errors and got in just 57% of her first serves. That had nothing to do with Navarro. An argument can be made it's a little disrespectful to those lower ranked players that Coco can make so many millions of dollars more in endorsements than them. The draw was opening up for Gorf too, with stalwart Madison Keys losing also in the round of 16. Keys would have been Coco's next opponent in the quarterfinals. In addition, Gorf's all-time nemesis, Iga Swiatek, who beat her at the French Open, was upset in the third round. They would have been on target for the finals. Thanks for reaching out to Celebrity News and Lifestyle, and for watching our videos till the end. If there's something about this video that you like to share, please do share with us. And guys don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share and leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters. See you next time.